Welcome back. We are here on eTour looking at the commodities market. And today we're going to look at WTI, natural gas, gold, silver, copper, and cocoa. So we, if we go and recap the WTI, we can see that we eventually got higher in last week's trading. We are basically retesting, we have been testing this resistance level of the 200 the moving average is several times uh, uh, last week, and we also broke through uh, the Fibonacci retracement uh, that was on Thursday session. Uh, we saw yes, we went through it on Mon on on Tuesday and also on on Wednesday, and at this point uh, we'll probably uh, continue gradually going higher. Um, there's not much going on in this market it has been in this range uh, of um, 10 to 15 dollars for for months now and and uh, at this point we'll probably if we break through this uh, 200 moving average and uh, Fibonacci retracement or we have a candlestick that is higher than this 200 moving average uh, then we'll most likely go to the next resistance level that which is around uh, Forty-nine, fifty dollars uh, around this area here. If we look at uh, um, indicators, we may see um, a decrease in the price on Monday, probably also on Tuesday. We'll probably uh, go down, probably retest this uh, fifty moving average before going higher. And the reason why I say that is because the the RSI is looking quite uh, quite negative. Um, the stochastic is uh, is technically flat. It's about to cross the signal line again, and the MACD is also in a downward trajectory. Um, there is technically no reason why this market should should explode to the upside. I would technically um, expect this market to uh, to explode to the downside due to the to the uh, downturn in the world economy. However, the production has been cut significantly around the world, and that is basically uh, what is keeping this market up. It is not due to demand, it's basically due to a sure uh, cut in supply. So we'll probably see this market doing the same thing as it has been doing for the last uh, weeks or months, and that is just gradually go higher. Um, our next target will most likely be, likely be this area here of $49, $50, and we'll probably get a new range within that area of uh, $50 to $40 uh, for the foreseeable future. Um, yes, so next is natural gas. I remember last week I said that um, this is very seasonal, this market. Usually when we get to around October, November, uh, December, and January and February, this market usually explodes um, to the upside. And that's because um, of the colder weather. People use more gas in order to heat their homes and so on. And we can see that in the past, that has also been the case here. And also in this uh in this year, it was it was really uh, it was very dramatic in the 2018. This was 2019, and now we're in August. And I think technically don't think that this is not due to seasonality. Um, I expected this market to go down. It did uh, fall quite dramatically on Monday. However, on Friday, we saw an absolutely explosion in the price of natural gas to the upside, well, about a 9% jump. Um, and uh, yeah, this, I would not buy into this. We are still not in, the, in, the, in October, November, where we usually see these spikes in natural gas. Um, I do believe that this is something that just will uh, fade back down. And when we get back to October, November, we will basically see another expo uh, explosion to the upside, similar to 
what we saw last year and when technically what we see every year. So um, be aware of this. Um, even though it, it increased by around 9% on Friday, um, this is not a market that should go parabolical at this point. Um, but if you look at the indicators, they are extremely uh, bullish. Uh, we are overbought at this point. We are above uh, the 70 um, line. So we are overbought just to make uh, just to keep that in mind. Uh, the stochastic, we are still we crossed the line again on Friday and we are heading upwards and the MACD is uh, it's really bullish. We are not even close to crossing this signal line. So we may probably see one or two more days of, uh, of increase um, in price before we go back down. So next is gold. Yes, so gold has been on this really nice bullish run for several months now. And this is all due to um, central banks basically destroying the currency and and uh, because the world economy is in such a bad shape at the moment, gold is usually uh, the thing people turn to in uh, in uh, in a uh, economy that is doing really bad. Uh, but the last few weeks we saw, no, last few days, I mean, we saw this downturn in the market and that was also expected. Um, we actually got to the level where where, uh, where I thought we were going to go to and this was just amazing buying opportunity. This market will go higher. There is um, the only thing that will basically stop this market if, uh, if um, the Federal Reserve or central banks around the world will stop with their quantitative easing uh, and, uh, and their very uh, aggressive uh, uh, interaction in the market. And I'm not seeing that's going to stop anytime soon. This is a market that will go higher from here. And um, yes, I made a few trades in this market. I did not sell because we are basically in an uptrend and it doesn't make sense to uh, to uh, to short this market at this point. What you're supposed to do is basically just buy in value. Just wait until this market basically drops significantly like it did uh, last week and then buy at a discount, discount, discount price, which was basically here. This was uh, an amazing buy um, and this is a this is a trade I will basically keep for several several weeks because we are going to retest 2000. We are going to retest the 2100 also, and we are also going much higher than that, 2200, and in the long run also to um, 3000. So if we look at the indicators, uh, we can see that the the RSI is basically in the middle. We're not oversold or not overbought. Um, the stochastic is really bullish. So expect this market to basically probably uh, maybe on Monday and Tuesday we'll probably see similar candles as we saw on Friday where this market is just hanging around. And then on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday we'll probably continue our upward movement. The MACD, uh, and the reason why I say that is because the MACD is not ready yet to, to cross the signal line. It is indicating that it will go lower or it will basically go flat like this and then go upwards. But um, this fall was expected for gold. This does not mean that we are going to have a trend reversal, that gold will now basically be in a downtrend. This is a market that will continue um in its bullish run because of the interactions of uh, of the central banks over the world around the world and that is going to continue for probably several several years so if we look at silver now, so silver has similar to to uh, to gold the gold market also been on an extremely bullish run the few months 
silver is far more volatile than gold is. And uh, personally, I don't really trade silver uh, that often. Um, I do do um, look at this market because it is an indication for also for manufacturing. Silver is used in the manufacturing of uh, of uh, and so on. It basically is a proxy. I use it as a proxy for how the manufacturing industry is going. And uh, when you see this basically bullish run, this basically is a indicating that there is quite a lot of demand for um, this commodity. Um, however, it is really, really, really bullish. Not really, really volatile, I mean, sorry. Uh, and we can see that on, on, um, on, it was on Tuesday session, we had this enormous uh, fall in the, in the silver market. It was around 30 uh, 13 uh, percent um, and I did expect it to go much lower than this I expected it to go all the way down to the 15 minute week average before going up again but no it did not we went uh, down to uh, 23 dollars and uh, 50 cents uh, and then we continue upwards um, the fair ones I do expect a, a, a pullback from here I uh, I would be cautious because it is so volatile, this market. If we look at the technical indicators, we basically see the RSI is in a downward trajectory. It is indicating that we will go lower. However, the stochastic um, is indicating that we um, are crossing the signal line and will go higher. Uh, and the MACD is, well, it did cross the signal line. So we basically have two indicators indicating that we are continue downwards and we have one indicator that indicated that we'll go higher um, when we have this parabolical uh, increase in price there will always be a massive pullback similar to this candle here uh, this trend just can't continue uh, forever uh, you can just basically see like this is similar to uh, Bitcoin and and uh, and and yeah Yes, it, it, this just can't continue. It has, at some point, has to have a massive pullback. And it's basically these pullbacks that give the opportunity to buy this at a cheap because we are in uptrend and this market will mostly, uh, most likely go much higher from here. So if we look at copper, I think mean, by far um, the most interesting market of these is basically copper. Uh, and the reason why I say that is because we are in a up trend. Um, and at this moment, we have formed this really nice um, bullish flag, which is a significant indicator that we are going to go much higher. We tested the 50 moving average twice and on Friday we had this really nice uh, green candle here bullish candle and if we look at the uh, technical indicators this is just a really nice setup for another bullish run similar to this so I do expect uh, uh, copper to go higher we are going to retest uh, the $3 uh, range here, which has in the past been really, uh, has been a significant resistant barrier. And if we break through that line, we are going to retest these highs again of uh, 3.1 uh, and also to 3.3 um, before we have another pullback similar to this. So this is a market that I have been buying into. I did not short this market because I knew when we got to uh, $3 that we would have a, a pullback. And we have been gradually going downwards into this flag here, this really bullish flag, and which is basically an indicator that we will go higher. If we look at the uh, indicators, we can see that the RSI is an upward trajectory. We can see that the stochastic has crossed the signal line, uh, but the MACD has not yet. Uh, we will 
but most likely have one or two more trading days of this uh, chopping back and forwards. Uh, probably a pullback on Monday, probably also on Tuesday before then going higher. And last is Cocoa. So, we did get this uh, pullback, which I expected on uh, last week. Uh, there is no real reason why this market should go uh, this high. Uh, because demand for this product is, is just not there at this point. Uh, as long as the world economy is in, its, uh, in the shape that it's in, this market will just continue going lower. The reason why we got this spike was uh, due to um, a decrease in production from from farmers uh, around in South America, I think. Uh, so that's the reason why we got this uh, parabolical uh, increase. This does not mean that we have a trend reversal. This just means that market reacting to news and at some point uh, reality will settle in and then will just continue downwards. As long as people cannot go to cafes and so on, and technically tourist industry is down and restaurant industry is down and so on, this market will be uh, severely affected. So this is a market that I have been focusing on because I wanted the shortest market. And I think we got that indication on Friday that we are going to go uh, and retest the lows again. Um, it probably would take some time, but this is not a nice candle. This is a really, really bearish candle. And all the indicators, which I will show in a, a moment, that uh, are indicating that we will go much lower from this. Uh, I would not be surprised if we gap significantly down when the market opens on Monday. So this is a really nasty uh, bearish candle. Uh, if we look at the RSI, we are heading uh, in a downward trajectory. We are um, going much lower compared to the, uh, uh, that's what our science is indicating. Uh, for the stochastic, we did not cross the signal line. We are going down from here. And the MACD is also indicating that on Monday or on Tuesday, we will uh, cross the signal line and we will continue going downwards. And... Uh, Yes, this is uh, it basically everything indicates that we will go much lower uh, from here. So I hope you find this uh, video interesting and helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing and liking, putting a like, um, and also hitting down the bell button in order to get our newest videos. So good luck and happy trading. Thank you very much. Thank you.